It's an Arkansas cold case with so many twists and turns. No one knows what could happen next. One minute there's an arrest, the next the accused is walking out with charges dropped. As Fox 16's Mitch McCoy reports, a big sister is trying to get this Cersei case closed for good. The destination is on your right. There's something about returning to a town. I don't like coming back and I try not to. Where street corners cast a shadow. A lot of painful memories here. On a family with so many questions and nowhere to turn. This place is just full of Jared in the last place he was. Jared Green, little brother to Shannon Green. Jared is missing and has been for nearly three decades. He was only 20 years old. I mean, I don't think people can comprehend that. Shannon lives out of state now. She made the drive back to Searcy, you could say, on a quest for answers. She's sharing Jared's story with anyone who will listen. My brother was involved in drugs, and the drug trade was really rampant. It still is in this area. And I think that there were people that were in those positions of power that had ties to that. Details surrounding Jared's disappearance in September 1994 are laid out in court documents. They say Jared had plans to meet a man in North Little Rock, but Jared's car never left town. Officers found his car abandoned three days later in a shopping center parking lot in Searcy. We're trying to determine, did Jared make it all the way to North Little Rock where he was going? Shannon says her little brother battled with drugs before he disappeared, losing weight and not acting like himself. Her parents were trying to get him into rehab. Shannon had just started at Harding and had no idea how bad it had gotten. To watch my parents, to watch the, what the toll it took on my mom and my dad, that was worse, that was worse. In 2017, Searcy police arrested a man on capital murder and abuse of a corpse. We're not identifying that man because the case was dropped a few months later for detectives to investigate more. Searcy police in 2018. You know, in a case like this, we have one shot at getting a suspect prosecuted in jail. And um, we want to make sure that, that one shot that we get, that we get everything right. To this day, Jared is missing, but Shannon fears the worst. It's one thing to lose somebody and know they're gone and know that you have to just accept it and bury them and mourn. That's, a, that's different than having 28 years of not knowing for sure. Shannon says her search won't stop until Jared comes home. For my mom's sake, I, I want him to, I want the closure for her, for myself, for my brother, for Jared, because he deserves a burial. Jared's dad died just a few years ago, so Shannon says it's so important for her to get their mom some kind of closure. This case is open. If you have any information on Jared's whereabouts or his disappearance, you are asked to call the Searcy Police Department. Back to you.